Hello everybody, Sony putting here with some more modded Minecraft. I have been on for clay, sand, and gravel, and while I was doing that, I caught a lot of it, but, look at here. Face saturation when equipped, shows hunger when half empty, and a speed boost. I got that in, let's see here, where do I find that? It's somewhere around here, here we go. It was your typical brick with the wooden roof and the purple flooring. I got it in there. So, didn't really miss much. It was just a bunch of random stuff like copper, tin, booze, nether quartz, and ender pearls. Nothing too crazy. But, why I was going out there is for this. We are going to get started on a Tinker, Tinker's Construct smelter. So, there we go. We need grout for the brick. And I'm talking, this is going to be a big one. There we go. Pop you into there, pop you into there. And we need this grout to make seared bricks. And with them, we make seared blocks. And I'll show you. Seared. Let's see if I can find a little bunch of random crap in here. Here we go. So, seared brick comes from grout. And then, you can take that and make seared bricks right here. And with these, you make a Tinker's Construct smelter. And from that, we can start making metal tools. Because, this cell pickaxe, eh, pretty decent. But, we definitely want something a lot better. So we're going to take some of these, make some sticks, go like this, go like this, and it's raining in real life again. We'll take these, and we're going to make first a central table, then we'll make a parts builder, and then finally, well, not really finally, but we'll make, oops, come out, there we go, a tool station. So that's grab for right now, pop you in here, put you in the back, put that right there. And we got Tinker Weaponry, so it just talks about this is stuff like throwing, projectiles, throw tiles, so it just talks about javelin, longbow, crossbows. That kind of stuff. We will definitely be getting into those because those are new in this version of the game. The last time I played with Tinkers, we only had sword bows. So I'm definitely going to check that out. But now we want to make a chest so we can hold all of our stencils. There we go. Take that. Add this on top. And we have a tiling set. So we can pop that next to the part builder. We can put it over there when we're doing stuff. So, let's get started. We'll make a tool rod. We'll make a tool binding. And we'll make a pickaxe head. Take it over here. Well, no, first we should take it over here first. And get some cobblestone. There we go. Take this. Pop it over here. Take that. This, take that, put these back over here, take my cobble, take it over here, because I'm going to need a pickaxe head. There we go. Take these. There we go. And now we have a stone pickaxe that we can repair instead of just using up the durability as gone. So, I'm going to toss this to jump around to the ocean. Oh. And, there we go. Yep, awesome. And now we're going to do the same with our other stuff. So we're going to put this back over there. Let's see if I can find a chest. Get some of this other junk out of my inventory. We'll just put it right here. 
route, clay, sand, gravel, that stuff. Uh, let's see. We'll take a shovel. Take an axe. Take a hammer. Take an elevator. Take a broad axe. Take a large plate. What is this? This is a pen. We'll take a large blade. We'll take a sword. We'll take a crossbow body. A shuriken. Bowlin. Crossbow limb. String. Reflection. And arrowhead. There we go. Well, pass this all over to here. Now we can make all of these simply out of either cobble or as we get higher up we can make it out of more durable and useful materials. But for right now we are poor so we only have cobble so we're going to make a shovel now. Take that, take this, lime, this, that's literally all we need. that and voila. Are you still on kills? Are you still strong? Let's see here we have 65 and 139. Take that. Let's repair that. Into the ocean you go. There we go. I also built this little tree farm on the side of here. Let's see, we got some more dirt. Let's build some tangle. Not the end of the world. Now we have all of that amazing stuff. So now I want to get a. Uh, let's just go for a bad card. And we'll make this one here. Move that. Let's just put this one right there. That's fine. There we go. Then we'll grab a sword blade. And we'll grab a tool rod, take that, pop this off of here, I need a spare heart. And we can make a long sword. Eventually, I want to get a cutlass and name it Stumpy, but you can only find them in tinker houses and villages. And I I don't know if they spawn in chests underground, but we can check it out, I guess. But as far as I know, they only spawn in tinker houses and villages. And so now we have a beautiful lineup of almost all the villages. There we go. All the removable tools. Not removable, repairable tools that are much cheaper than the vanilla way of repairing. Pop you over to the side. There we go. Now I'm curious, is this worth a vein miner? It does. Very cool. But we are not going to be using vein miner oh, with these tools because we are going to be using the upgraded version of these tools very soon, which is the hammer for the pick, the shovel for the shovel, and the broad axe for the regular axe. I may do a 3x3 three three area, pretty much, for each of them, so we're going to be using them instead of vein miner, which is kind of cheaty, but there we go, that's the seer grip going. And now we're going to be making these. So now we get the mighty smelting. But we don't really need that because I know what I'm doing, hopefully. Make some more, take some of that, take some of that. There we go. Let's see, let's make some more furnaces so we can get this going a bit quicker. There we go. Grab some coal. that. There we 
we go. Pop some crap in the way. Put that. Put that in here. Throw that in. I think that's where I pull in this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Put that there. Put that there. Put that there. Come on, Rad Pip. There we go. Back up with that. Grab some more grout. My brain is just not working today, it seems like. There we go. And pop that in here. Toss that in there. Pop my coal back into there. Pop that copper and tin. There we go. I can now I also have a sheep. So I don't have to keep going back and forth to the land to get the sheep. And we're just going to put them right here. Of course, we'll need grass block, but ooh, get rid of the land there. But that's not the end of the world. This is just something. I might just build a little row of dirt from land just here to this little area right here in the next next time I do some off-camera work. That way, we can just have the sheep and grass on my little island here. Not really an island per se, more of a floating house, kind of like a houseboat, except we're not moving, so, either way, pop some more grout, pop grout in here quick, and then we want to make a structure controller, brain of metal, a tank, Glass out of that remember? Put that stuff in there. Yeah, there we go. We want some glass to hold the lava. There we go. Get your little chicken harvested. And then we'll make some of the for getting the liquid out of the smelter. Come in here. Our cast. more of those, like that, and we'll do like this, put the faucets that allow the liquid to come out of the spring, and then we're going to make two of these, and we will make something in the crafting table, so we can get some more bricks to get smelted. Just a matter of waiting to get more bricks. We have our crafting table, we have our faucets, have our grains, we have our tank. So it's just a matter of waiting. Put some more out of these. Put some more out of these. Have our books here. Just toss them up here. This will be our little tinker chest. So I think that's pretty good, and it looks like it's the end of the episode, so as always, stay cool.